Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever, and today we're beginning our campaign or video with the Deutsche Madagascar, led by Daddy himself, Reinhard, Papa, Tristan, Eugene, Heydrich, in Kaiser Redux. Cool, if you like to hear about this, please go right ahead. We're just going to play the game, in which we shall begin immediately with the focus. I've done nothing on screen yet, but a paradise on the surface. Madagascar has existed as a model colony for some years. Admiral Heydrich, bless his heart, has successfully pacified the island and turned into the hub of German Navy in Africa. At a great cost, of course. As long as Heydrich is here, the colony is bound to be stable. Now, we are off this little coast, and we've got 3 million, 3.7 really, million of core population, with about 700,000, 720,000 individuals who are not of our core population, but that is okay. Now, I don't plan this campaign to last very long, but we'll go as far as we possibly can with Papa Heydrich leading the way. Oh boy, we don't have a lot of factory slots, do we? We'll go there, and then maybe we'll do that, and then maybe we'll do a bunch of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of uh, infrastructure. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm really interested in learning about what happens with us and uh, <clears throat> our colony, because we are literally a colony here. I'll get some more fighters. We have any oh, we have some ships here. Well, we don't like that one for now. Let's actually, do we have a navy? Do we actually have a navy? Oh, we do have a little mascot of that. Some subbies. Or some destroyers, I mean, not subbies. Well, we can't really afford a carrier just because we don't have extra planes, we don't have factories for them, such stuff. So probably trying to build a dreadnought would be probably a bad idea as well. But we'll do it anyways. Cool. That should be good enough for now. Everybody some convoys. And I don't plan on us getting into any sort of major action, but paradise on the surface. Ooh, assassination of... Oh, he's an admiral. Look at that. I love it. Cool. Do that, and then do that. The assassination of Kerensky. Oh, that never happens. How barbaric. Reinhard Daddy Heydrich's various projects have painted a thin veneer of paradise over the festering reality that is life in the good old island of Madagascar. Within the larger cities, all seems perfect with the new roads, beautiful architecture, and clean, smelling Germans waving as you go by. Take a few steps outside the cities, and the real Madagascar is revealed a toxic industrial hellscape over ever expanding into the surrounding jungles. Massive dockyards and ports can cover the coast, eating away at the once pristine beaches, while the once quiet jungles now endlessly echo with the sound of heavy equipment. The most horrifying of all are the work camps and plantations that dot the landscape, reaping the earth's natural beauty as thousands of native and Jewish workers are driven to death as they are overworked to fulfill the beast's unquenchable ego and ambition. This once pure and idyllic, uh, idyllic island is now being slowly strangled of all its wonder, and there's no end in sight as long as Hedges still reigns supreme, one of the Fatherland's best posts. And also here in the decisions, we can uh, join the Kaiser Wilhelm Society, and we can demobilize our economy, which we'll do if we're forced to, because we're currently on what we're economy. So, just another project. Reynold Hedrush has always been an ambitious man, seeking fame and honor but long before his arrival in Madagascar. Since he first became the lord of this land, he's started and completed many extravagant and expansive projects, from certain creations of expansive infrastructural systems that span the island tip to tip, to the opening of a network of work camps and factories that supplies the Kazarik. Hedrush's schemes have always been large and over the top, however, none of the past endeavors compare to the crowning jewel of his Egotistical ambition, the creation of an island-wide naval base. So, of course, it sounds ludicrous now, but what the beast envisions would be the linchpin of German naval expansion deeper into the colonies in Africa and Asia, and the way he dreams it would make himself the darling of the Kaiser and his people by expanding ports, building new docks and shipyards, and overall covering every square mile of our coast in naval infrastructure and production facilities. Hadrish hopes to turn the island of nature and life into a metal fortress that stands against the waves and furthers the reach of the Kaiserreich. Will he achieve that ludicrous plan? No one is for sure. But what ifs will not stop the beast from achieving his dream while he still breathes? All in the name of progress and the Kaiser Reich. And we will do the reign of Hadrish. Reinhard Hadrish is governor of Madagascar. Under his rule, the island will be transformed into a worthless swamp, into a powerful naval base. The settler situation, many rare and unique forms of life inhabit the diverse terrain of Madagascar, from the lowliest lemurs to the tallest of the grandeur's baobab trees. Much of the biodiversity can only be found here. In recent decades, however, another strange and uncommon group has come to call a rich island home. 
the Jews. Fleeing countries or centuries of anti-Semitism and bigotry, many Jews have retreated to our shores to find peace and to build a new life far away from hate that they are so used to enduring. Their migration here is only partially by chance, though, as the ever-diligent leader of our island, Reinhard Heydrich, has played a large role in their arrival as well, with Heydrich's recent projects getting more expensive and destructive by the day. The population of the island is begin beginning to see a significant decline as an ever-increasing number of native laborers lost their... <clears throat> Lives slaving away to fulfill Hadrian's deluded schemes. The population was in free fall until Hadrian's luck turned when one day a boat full of Jewish refugees arrived, arrived in Toa Masina, fleeing persecution from some regime or another, begging for asylum. Realizing the potential of these new idle hands, Hadrian began to advertise to the world that Madagascar was open to all Jews across the globe. We love Jews here, offering them incentives such as work and cheap housing. Jews have now been flocking to Madagascar by the thousands for years. This has led to a sizable Jewish minority in the nation that continues to only rise as more boats arrive and more natives meet their fate in Hadrian's uh, <clears throat> camps. What this massive demographic shift will mean for the future of our islands, uh, however, no one can say for certain. Interesting. Hopefully it could become, like, Israel Madagascar. Israel Deutsche Madagascar, the model colony. On the fringe of the African of German rule in Africa, Madagascar sits, yet despite its position separated from both Berlin and Dar es Salaam, it thrives and prospers. The streets of... Antanaravro are busy with life. The ports flow with dock ships and off-duty sailors indulge in all that the island has to offer. There is a reason that Madagascar is seen as one of the fatherland's most favorable posts. Yet under the surface, the island stirs. Many wish to see France rule the isle once more. And the Jewish settlers have flocked to the island now grow wary. Some wishing for a state of their own. As well, things do get darker. Hadrian's naval projects have come at a severe cost. Workers' deaths are among the highest in the world. And has mostly failed at its objective to turn the island into a massive naval fleet. Or base, at least. All the island is tied together by Reinhard Hadrich, who has overseen the colony for the last number of years. Under his rule, Madagascar has become a hub of commerce and the center of Middle Africa's vast naval fleet. As long as Hadrich is here, Madagascar will thrive. And even if he does depart, everything will be fine, right? And if you'd like to read about our national spirits, go right ahead. We have colonial government. And we are colonists. Keep it that way. We have the Middle African fleet. Very cool. As well as the Jewish settlement. Ah, we love Jewish people here, man. I really want to, and this is probably the closest thing I can get to an actual, like, I don't know, maybe Jewish country that I know of at the time of this recording, so, I don't know why, I just want to play as a Jewish nation for some reason. Cool, but we have a cup of coffee here, though, to keep us nice and warm, and the Beast Driver. Papa Hadrish, Vati Hadrish, or the Beast, as he is affectionately known as by the natives, is an opposing and nearly alien-looking man, able to both ensnare and disturb with a single glance. Despite this menacing appearance, he is always nearly accompanied by one of his most unassuming members of the German colonial mission here in Madagascar, Emil Maurice. Arriving here on our shores with one of the Jewish refugee boats, Hadrish was quick to label Maurice as one of asylum seekers, which wasn't totally incorrect given his mixed German-Jewish ancestry. Moreover, Maurice was neither a practicing Jew himself, nor did he come here fleeing persecution back home instead. Maurice came to Madagascar simply because he had heard of the beauties and oddities of our wondrous little island, and wanted to feast his eyes upon her splendor himself, a fact that he still has yet to bring to Hadrian's attention. Though he had come here on to lounge on our beaches and continue his hobby of watchmaking, living out the rest of his days relaxing in the sun, Maurice was in for a surprise, meeting Hadrian on the first day arriving at the docks. The beast took an instant liking to this little, unassuming man, and they became fast friends. Hadrian! Would not let his new friend dawdle, however, nearly forced Maurice to take a job in the colonial administration. After becoming Hadrian's personal chef, the two have grown quite close in the following years, and Maurice has reluctantly proven himself to be one of the only competent Germans in Madagascar. Such a happy little fellow. I love Maurice. I love that hat. That is such a good hat. Bring back the hats, man. Yeah, we'll probably click on this just so we get that extra political power. Who do we have here? Because in our cabinet and such, ooh, a little bit of lag, but whatever. Uh, who do we have? The government. Emil Maurice, of course. The Silent Records. We love that. Uh, Bernard Roga. And we have Hans Frank, which we've heard of before, hopefully. As well as the Great Berlin Stock Market Crash. But no. Erhard Milch. Mr. Milk himself. Cool. Mein Gott. You can never escape poverty. Don't remind me. Don't remind me about that, please. Very nice. Oh, who cares about Afghanistan? Well, anyone can say that. And we were, we all we have are literally three marine divisions. Gabriel. Poland Kirchner Republic. Ramanantzola. Rama Mansoa, Armand Annette, sounds so, so, so really familiar, Emil, uh, Reinhard, 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 I want to go, yeah, Reinhard will lead Emil, as it should be. The hub of the African fleet, Hedrich's five industrialization plan, five years. Hadrian's planned ambitious project has an even more ambitious time frame. Whether he can complete it in the time promised, nobody knows, but we shall see, my friends. And China's falling apart, but we don't care. We care more about our fleet here in Madagascar. 
More output, less infrastructure construction speed, which sucks, but more naval. Hmm. Hmm. You want naval bases, son? You want a lot of naval bases? Okay, maybe by the end of this, if we survive, everything is going to be a naval base. All of this will be, no matter what. Oh, we maybe have a few planes, too. I forgot about that. Gallo sees the control of Ecuador. No one cares right now. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. No one cares right now. Wow, we're really trucking along trying to build up this uh, civilian uh, workshop. Cool. Or factory. Workshops, factories. I can't tell anymore what they're called. Then after that, put... Oh, we're going to put settlers to work. We do have a navy with a colony. Navy on the ground. Pride of the fleet. The navy in the air. The hub of the Middle Africa's fleet. The French protests. No cost is too high. Uh, cater to sailors, huh? Everyone's tickets, more manpower, more war support would be pretty nice. Beautiful. We'd get less political power, less stability, more output, more construction speed, way less military factory. Oh, just a little bit less military factory construction speed, and slightly more naval based construction speed. Put the settlers to work. The Jewish settlers have immigrated to Madagascar, yet have contributed nothing to the local economy. We will make sure they put their share into Hadrich's grand plan. Oh, yes. Everyone for the effort. The disaster, though. Disaster has struck the colony. Our administration has here constantly balanced under Ridge's edge as Hedrich's ambitions cause more and more chaos. Occasionally, the balance is thrown off, and with it, tragedy always follows. Today was one such day of imbalance. Earlier today, in one of the dry docks in Toa Masina, Madagascar's largest port, a boiler mal malfunction caused by some short sighted logistical planning on Hedrich's part has led to a cataclysmic a series of explosions that has completely decimated the area. Still worse. It occurred at the port's busiest hours as thousands of merchants, dock workers, and other locals were working in the immediate vicinity. The cottage has claimed the lives of hundreds and hundreds more are still missing as rescue teams search the rubble. Even without the calamitous loss of life, millions of marks worth of damages have been inflicted on the port, and surrounding ships have been docked there. It will take untold months to repair the damages done to the port. But the lives lost will forever be irreplaceable, and the families of the victims all know who is to blame the beast. An unfortunate loss. If that is the case, then... Hmm... We will probably go ahead... Oh, Pino, ooh, Pino Labor Colony. Ooh. Probably the hub of the African fleet. And I don't want to do this, but it seems like... Ooh, if not selected. We lose stability, but we do get some political power out of this, so... That sucks, but... Aaron protests. Word of the tragedy at the docks of Toamasina have finally reached Europe. Among the barrage of Mariel regarding the incident flooding... <clears throat> Reinhard Heydrich's office, we received a very strongly worded letter from one Raymond Aaron, a famous French Jewish philosopher and vocal political critic. He has hounded Heydrich and the administration here over the unnecessary deaths of so many French and Jewish workers in the disaster, has condemned the colony as a trap of the downtrodden, and accusing us of preying on these refugees and using them as little more than slave labor. This is all hogwash, of course, and Heydrich has decided not to give the old fool a response. Though this will likely increase the ire of our ever-increasing Jewish population towards us, Heydrich knows best and what is best for him to achieve his goals through any means he deems necessary. Perhaps Jews need their own state. Maybe they do. Can we create one for them? Weekly stability? Yes. Kenny? Oh, hello Kenny. First international, how about we, the hub of Middle Africa's fleet? The pride of Middle Africa's fleet is here. Hadrich's mighty flotilla is the pride of both the Vatalan and Madagascar. Ah, uh, basic machine tools. We love it. I'm going to immediately go and grab that. We love this bus, don't we? Sometimes. Too little, too late. Instability and chaos are at all time high in Madagascar, with the beasts ruling supreme, raining death and destruction upon the land in its endless pursuit of glory. Protests, violence, and guerrilla movements are breaking out across the island. With the German garrison being far too small to effectively quell those insurrections, Hadrich has become desperate to repair his position and maintain order and control. Forced to utilize drastic measures, he has begrudgingly decided to institute some minor reforms in order to quell this rising instability. Basic access to health care, nominal rights for workers will be granted in order to hopefully stop the chaos and return the colony to some semblance of a working order. If this works to ease the populace remains to be seen, but will it help? Maybe. Oh, cool. No cost too high? Let's go ahead and maybe cater to some people, perhaps, Will. Ah, no, expel French bureaucrats. The French need to leave. The perfidious French still plague this island, and the yes-men will obstruct Hadrich at every turn. They must be done away with. Oh, the Brotherhood of Eurasia, huh? And I do have a cup of coffee here. What's that, vanilla cream brulee or something like that? Hmm, quite good. Only the finest for us administrators on Madagascar. We get some political power. I get 12% more stability. That's pretty good. Stephen the 10th elected the Pope. Cool. Alright, silent super events. No, I don't think I will. 
All right, get more weekly stability. Very nice, very nice. Construction one is done. Very beautiful, my friends. Uh, extraction could be good, but let's get some radio. I kind of doubt we'll be at war with anybody, but you never know. No cost of two either, my friends. Complaints have come to Hadrish about the cost of his plans, which has gone into a heavy toll of both human life and desperately needed funds. We will make sure the complaints, as well as to, addresses, to the addresses of those who did, are noted. Ah, uh, Hadrich has done nothing wrong. He's just trying to fulfill the dreams of the Kaiserreich. What's wrong with these people? Slightly less monthly population. Slightly better naval base construction speed. Not bad. The White Sun over China. Well, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. This happens in pretty much every campaign in Kaiserreich and or Kaiser Redux. So, quite an adventure, my friends. Quite an adventure. Get rid of those French bureaucrats. Disgusting. The French protest, with his hatred towards the remnants of the old French bureaucracy, who used to run his Madagascar before the Valkyrie, only growing since his arrival, the recent letter from Raymond Aran has only sent the beast into a blind rage. Cursing the frogs and rats, they stand out uh, the, that stand outside the colonial capital protesting his recent actions, Hadrish has begun to lose all reason. As the protesters grew louder and Hadrish grew angrier, a sudden moment of clarity washed over him. He had an idea. To solve his frog problem, he would simply remove them from the equation. Hadrish gathered his guard retinue and stormed outside the building he was hunkered down in, ordering them to systematically shoot every single processor stupid enough to stay out and shout. Once the deed was done, he gathered more guards and began to clear every single administrative building in the colonial capital of Frenchmen, radioing to other colonial centers around Madagascar to do the same. He and his men would give every single French bureaucrat in the entire colony the one thing they deserved, a nice little German bullet. After the day of bloodshed ended, the streets of every major city on the island ran with blood and not a single frog was left in any position of power, control, or influence. Tomorrow, Hadrish would deal with the fallout of such actions, but tonight he could finally sleep in peace without the incessant croaking of his now dead foes. We need German administrators at once. Ugh, just a few guys gone. It is no matter, no matter. Oh, what do we have here? Civilian, military, ooh, industry stuff. Uh, hmm. Investigation into Hedrich. Despite his near limitless power while Madagascar, even the beast is chained like a dog to Berlin. As they've caught wind of the recent disaster at Toa Masina and his ghastly purges, as well as a clear uh, his past history of aggression against the natives. The Reichstag has issued a clear and direct warning to Hadrish for being too far harsh in his methods. Of course, Hadrish has dismissed the warning as nothing more than a slap on the wrist, and shall continue with his schemes, but not before writing a silver tongue reply, categorically denying these false accusations as nothing more than rumor and slander. Hadrish knows he will have to pull the wool over the ever watching eyes of Berlin and convince him of his innocence, at least partially if he ever wants to finish his great project. Their complaints are baseless. For Hadrish's rule to survive, we must turn away from the gaze of Berlin. Oh, quite sad, but. So be it. Um, Otavi Meinen und Eisenbahn Gesellschaft. Union Minere. This sounds more German. Maybe they're both German, I don't know. Someone has a coup d'etat. Relook at the natives. Uh, ooh, I kind of like that. Turn away the watchdogs. Once this is taken, be secure. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to rush down this way then. Cater to sailors, how about that? While to some, Madagascar is a nightmarish place where the tolls of Hedrich's projects run high. The people on the outside don't need to know that. They only need to know that Madagascar is one of the Reich's favorite postings. Rich in culture and entertainment, it is a perfect place for a sailor to spend their off time in bonus checks. Absolutely. Mau Mau, the jackals of Kenya. Uh, if you like to read about this, I think this happens pretty much almost every time. But uh, it goes on about Mamao's tactics and ideals, their leader Hussein Obama, and Obama's personal involvement in the rebellion. Which critics state are quite dubious. Overall, this book isn't a big seller. Cool. White Savior. Very cool. Mm -hmm. A people's army, huh? Rhea's dream, an offensive Rhea. Huh, new dream, a united front, rebellious workers. Loyalty questions, a free Kenya, rule Britannia. Nationalist Kenya, a good economists. Deutsch Middle Africa, led by Papa Hermann Goring. Herr Goring. Yeah, Deutsch Middle Africa is really split up into a lot of different places. Ah, Hans Hutig. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Up next, we have. Uh, so that. One giant naval base. Hadrian's plan is simple. The island of Madagascar is to be turned into one giant naval base, serving as a hub not just for Hadrian's fleet, nor the Middle African Navy, but as a global naval hub for all officers of the Vatalan. This shall be done no matter the cost. Absolutely. No cost is too great for the Rock Kaiserreich. Absolutely. Artillery, shall we? Even though we probably can't afford that. Turkestan, no one cares about Turkestan right now. How about a penal labor colony? 
The terrible working conditions in Madagascar has presented a dilemma. Without a workforce, we cannot finish Hadrich's ambitious projects. Luckily, the father Fatherland has a ready labor force that can be used at any time. I imagine the Kaiser would be happy to empty out a few local jails. More daily political power, we get some more stability, some more uh, infrastructure, and way faster military construction speed. Wow, enable based construction speed isn't too bad either. That is uh, pretty darn nice, if I do say so myself. We're going to get some new guns, aren't we? Most definitely. So I am in your Asia. What the heck is going on? Oh, the Axe Park is falling apart over there. So be it. And we are part of that, but whatever. Beautiful. Solidify control. More authoritarian democracy support? What else am I going to do with my PP? I guess we could do some weapons manufacturers. Why not? One gigantic naval base. I love Pinot Labor colonies. And then, eh, we'll do weapon manufacturers. Generic artillery company. Generic motorized. Generic. Generic. Opel Dar es Salaam. Mauser Middle Africa. And Bundes Arsenal Dar es Salaam. I like this one. Mauser's. Please and thank you. Danke schön. Who else do we have here? Pinot Labor colonies. Turn away the watchdogs, my friends. We must. A few do-gooders have notified international watchdogs of a horrific human rights abuses. Of course, they know that they do not know the dark truth. Luckily, if we put a show on for them, they can see that nothing of that sort is happening under our watch. Uh, get more political, more more political power, some more stability. Mustafa Kemal has been shattered. A shocking revelation. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, it was all connected. Oh boy, yes. Once this is taken, Hadrius' rule will be secure from the villain's prying eyes. Which will be actually very, very good for us. We've got two days left. Turn away the watchdogs. They don't need to see what's happening down here. We're just trying to help out the Khazarik. Goodness gracious. Madagascar's blonde beast. Ooh. Acquire necessary funding. Relocate the natives. I love relocating the natives. Especially when you play Victoria 2. But funds for Hedrich's ambitious projects are running thin, so we have to turn to other means of acquiring these funds, of course. There are other, less legal means of getting this cash. Mm. I love this place. Ka guns? Yes. Karabiner... Oct unnoinsisch T? I don't remember the alphabet in German. Fezi Chamak? Oh, who's that? What would the future bring? I have no idea. All I know is that I want to relocate the natives and acquire necessary funding. And then, Verlagen vor Madagascar. That'd be very nice. And obviously, this focus tree isn't very big. That's totally okay. Oh, we have. Look at that stability! 68%. I don't mind solidifying control. I mean, that'd be kind of nice. Very good. Watchdogs, not necessary, my friends. Uh, Relook at the natives, Howie. How about Shawi? The natives continue to get in the way of Hedrich's grand plan. Luckily, nobody seems to be keeping accounts of them, and nobody would seem to notice if Hedrich relocated them. No one cares about Madagascar, let's be real. We can have our own little fun down here and ha conduct experiments on the people without anybody knowing. Oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. How about some more output? Because we could always use a few more mouses down here. Maybe a little bit more artillery. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Sehr good, sehr good. Convoys are always nice as well. And we'll have our done, a ship done in 1952, so it's going to be a while. Well, we do have our little fleet here. Not very much, but it's, it's a growing fleet. There you go. And we're probably never actually going to be able to make it. And what? Oh, wow. We are on limited exports while we have nothing here. Literally nothing here. This is a barren wasteland. That's okay. Really look at the natives, shall we? In addition with Madagascar's blonde beast, the mass graves piling up around the construction site have earned Hadrich a certain reputation. His policies and, policies and attitude towards the natives, the French, and even his own workers has gained him the title of the blonde beast. Slightly less monthly population, but a little bit more political power gain. Totally worth it. Slightly less political power every day, but that's all right. In half a year, we'll be slightly more popular because no one wants to question Hadrich's rule, right? That's right. That's absolutely right. And anyone who does, well, they go bye-bye. They get sent to camp. And unfortunately, I'm all out of coffee. No. Oh.
work harder or else. One of the main problems hindering Hejuch's grand plans is laziness. That this is to succeed, our workers must know that sloppy and lazy work will not be tolerated. They will work hard or face <clears throat> dire consequences. Ew, less monthly population, whatever. More factory output, more infrastructure construction speed, more naval base construction speed. Yes. Ooh, attempted assassination of Admiral Kolchak and Transamir. This still be news, but oh well. The Indo Chinese revolt su succeeds. This is weakness manifest in the Reich's Pact. Absolute weakness. Hmm. Ah, uh, radio detection. Not bad. Yeah, I'll grab some of that fuel storage, why not? Maybe we can make a few refineries. Probably not, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully we can get some resources around here, maybe? Ooh, South Rhodesia. Who's eating this? Hmm. Second American Civil War begins. Nice. Sounds like fun to me. Alright. Da es Salam. How? Oh, I guess. Oh, Deutsch West Africa, West Africa. We saw, that looks like a very familiar flag, huh? Duke Nicholas von Oldenburg, huh? Reservist. Oh, you actually have a focus tree. Well, look at that. Our own house. Tripartite. Oh, interesting. We hope the blonde beast must get done. Followed up with Verlagen vor Madagascar. Hedrich's plan is coming along. The death toll is, is a little high, and the expenses are even higher, but one day soon, his project will soon be complete. Madagascar will be the world's largest naval hub. Maybe we should start making so many civilian factories, or at least trying to make it. We'll get it done in 1940, so that's okay. We need more naval bases, though. Uh, we could even train these guys, but that would really, really wouldn't be worth it. we got plenty of guns, though. Which is pretty nice. Oh, which, ooh, look at that. Yeah, at least they're destroyed, and they're probably pretty easy to rebuild, or, you know, repair. Ah, oh, the blonde beast. Uh, go and station yourself in the capital. What is that? Oh, you already are there. Oh, that's a bigger thing there. What is even... The oh, there's a lot of jungle. Ooh. There's a lot of population in Madagascar. Oh, the mountains. Mountains. There's a lot of mountains in Madagascar, which makes sense. Oh. The Orenberg Vladivostok pack. Okay, well, good luck, guys. Jungle. There's actually more mountains than jungles here, huh? There's some jungles, but not nearly as much. Ah, <sighs> yes. Up next. A navy with a colony. The rule of Reinhold Hedrich has turned Madagascar into a glorified naval fleet dock. The navy remains supreme while all other branches of the armed forces are ignored, of course. Hmm, there you go. Good luck with that. It's already May 1937. Oh, oh boy, what's going on over there? People are killing each other across the world. This is why we decided to go to Madagascar. We don't have to fight with anyone else. No. Kokand, huh? Reichsbank, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Syndicalism prevails in the Ukraine. Uh-oh. Like I said, more weakness. Uh-oh. What is this? What's going to happen? Um... Oh, boy. Foray. Oh, no. Hopefully they don't touch us. Ooh. United Provinces of China, Orenburg Vladivostok Pack, the Alash. Oh! Okay, that's kind of okay. That's weird. Alexander Dudtov. Oh, there goes Spain. Spain has fallen far. Yes, it has. Uh, what do we want to do next? Land doctrine? Superior firepower? Why not? Ah, the Entente as well. Oh, boy. Very good. Mostly just trying to let the game just run as fast as possible. So. Do we own this? Reunion? Yes. Population-wise, 63 people a month. Ah, uh, civilians. 5,000 more civilians every month. Not bad. So by 1942, June, we should have everything done, right? Hopefully. A navy in the air? How about the, the pride of the fleet? Hedrich's section of the fleet is the fatherland's pride and Africa's most powerful flotilla. Stationed in Madagascar, they will ensure that the waters of Africa are free from enemies. Peru, no one cares. Division of More division defense. A severe crisis resolved. Good. Cynicism spreads. Not good. Chief of the staff. Max entrenchment. Population-wise, that would be pretty good to do. Probably raise the conscription level just a little bit. But we're doing okay on that stuff. Navy stuff. 
Chip designer, small chip manufacturer. Um, destroyer costs. I prefer them to do this. Eh, that's not that much, but Alaska is a union. Oh no, the leaders are often find themselves temporarily alone. There, there goes Hawaii. They join the Entente of all things, not the co-prosperity sphere. But okay, Deutsch aus Afrika Leine. Extraction? Might, might as well, right? We can't even extract anything, but whatever. Who cares? Oh, when do we get... Oh, in five days, we're removed. Okay, Mozambique Bush War. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We could use some more propaganda, too. The pride of the fleet, my friends. We get more command power that we don't need. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Followed up with local ship production. Well, how about we just start reading through some of these focuses and we'll keep going. Madagascar's fleet may be impressive, but Hadrish wants a grander than before. Hadrish's flotilla will be expanded to include terrifying new ships that will send our enemies running with their tails in between their legs. Expander fleet with local ship production. Most of our ships are ordered and built by the Vatalan. However, in Hadrich's vision, Madagascar will be a naval powerhouse capable of producing ships without Berlin's assistance. Naval Research Department. To better fight our battles on the sea, Governor Hadrich has ordered the creation of a naval research department which will find the best way to conduct naval warfare in a way that is adapted to an ever-changing world of war. Navy on the ground. While not our main focus, not, while not our main are of focus, our land arm is essential for Madagascar to survive as a colony. The strength of the Schutztruppen will help secure our island against any foe that would dare to invade. Eurasian Union form. Wow. Something new. Get cheap guns. Madagascar's budget has not been kind to the army, with most of our funds being sent aside, set aside for the navy. To count, we must get cheaper guns to replace the aging rifles our ground troops still carry. Conscript the settlers. <clears throat> oh, I like this. The Jewish settlers have moved to Madagascar. That have moved to Madagascar moved here mainly because of the large amount of incentives Hadrish gave. Now that they are here, they must serve their duty. We've already given them plenty: homes, jobs, and a duty to the fatherland. Madagascar garrisons. Ongoing or organizing the forces on our island is a Madagascar garrison, a force assigned by Germany to better help with the ground defenses. They will defend Madagascar when the navy cannot. Expand our fleet, shall we? Yes, we shall. Anything over here? Still a couple days left. More focuses, shall we? Oh. Fourth Balkan War, the final nail is being nailed. Cool, everything is collapsing around me. And the Navy in the air, shall we? Our naval forces operate not just on the vast open oceans, but in the vast blue skies as well. So focusing resources on the Air Force will have the positive effects on our naval prowess as well. Naval Aviation Branch. Perhaps one of the major breakthroughs in naval warfare, naval bombers are able to lay waste on enemy fleets with torpedoes and other dedicated naval payloads like mines. Supported by our fleets, they can challenge capital ships and wreak havoc in the naval screens. Copy the bottle line. The German Empire has the mightiest army on the planet, so it would be natural that we copy their strategies in regards to war, especially in the air. In Madagascar, we only copy the best, and airports on Madagascar. Madagascar is quite far away from everywhere on Earth, so naturally, getting supplies in and out is bound to be a challenge, since our ports are to be occupied with mighty battleships. The best option is to transport goods by air. To do this, we need airports. And, disaster has struck. Oh no. Middle Africa has collapsed. Oh no. And we will come back to this one very soon. Well, my friends, it's October 1st, 1938, and the general governor has departed. The fall of the mark has led to the colony falling into chaos, unwilling to deal with the mess that Middle Africa's collapse has caused. Hadrus has departed from Command of Madagascar. With Hadrus gone, Command of Madagascar is expected to be taken over by Emil Maurice. Oh, no. Which part of Africa did our, you know, colonial government go to? Where did he go? He just went over there. Deutsch Middle Africa. Which means... Well, so a few certain things. Let's grab some motorized, shall we? We shall finish off Madagascar to the best of our abilities. Hadrish departs. Today, Governor of Madagascar, Reinhold Hadrish, has departed from his post in Madagascar. He, along with a fleet stationed in the island, will be reloc relocating to Dar es Salaam, where they will join with the Middle African fleet. His departure is sudden and has come up as a result of his recent appointment as Stahetle of Middle Africa, taking over for Hedrush as Emile Maurice, who has steadily gained power within Hedrush's regime. He moved to Madagascar due to incentives based off his supposed Jewish ancestry, being able to secure a livelihood in the colony despite only having one ancestor of Jewish origin. Maurice, of course, did not bother to get his problem fixed as Madagascar was a relatively favorable 
post. While in Madagascar, Maurice became a chauffeur and personal friend of Governor Reinhard Heydrich, and slowly rose through Heydrich's inner circle until his poise to take over of Heydrich was gone. However, he never wanted to take over Madagascar, ruling the colony was the last thing he wanted. Maurice, along with others, wonder if he can keep control of Madagascar. Oh well. Big, big sadness. <clears throat> We must deal with the Middle Africa's collapse and our frozen future. We must wait for Meta Middle Africa to collapse, unfortunately. It appears as if Hadrich's command was the only thing holding the colony together. The chaos of Hadrich's departure and Middle Africa's collapse has left Madagascar in a terrible state. And many wonder if Maurice can guide us through the crisis. As well as this one. Disaster struck, of course. The Middle African regime has fallen and we now find ourselves alone. Hadrius, of course, has left to Goring's warlord state and has taken the entire African fleet with him. We have been cast afloat in a vast, a vast ocean and nobody knows what the future will hold. Oh no, everyone! Middle Africa has collapsed! Who could have done such a thing? But our future frozen. It is what it is. Uh, you know, poor old Hadrish. Dad is destined for... D disaster, we'll put it like that. Oh, look at that. Um, wait, are we no longer a puppet? Oh, it looks like we're no longer a puppet, maybe. Nice. Oh, we're gonna be war, though. Maurice's plan, Hadrish is gone, the colony's in chaos, and the person who has to sort this mess out is none other than Emile Maurice. Despite making Madagascar his home, he never wanted to leave the colony. His position by Hadrich's side and enjoying the good life in Madagascar was good enough for him. Leadership was never on his mind, despite being Hadrich's second in command, but... He never saw himself as a leader, and thus he made no plans. But now the colony need, needs a leader, and Maurice must act now. Middle Africa's collapse and the colony splitting at the seams, and many fear a coup could take place to dislodge him. Those claims are not without merit, as both the AF and the CDF are organizing in Antananarivo. Maurice's only saving grace is the support of the vast Jewish settler community who supported him more than his predecessor. If he can count on their support, he could keep it forever. Make a coalition? Well, do nothing. The government fails. I don't really know what note we, we want. I do want to panic, though. Aaron as head of state. Uh, that one is... Maurice has got power. I would like to keep power with this group. So, Deutsche Französische Colonial Gesellschaft. Make a coalition. PCDM. Which one is PCDM? Ah, the Social Conservatives. And that's with those. Aaron Solution. A point... So, that's PCDM. This one is... Becomes a ruling party... Maurice's panic? Uh, make a coalition with them, yes. Yes. It, against all odds, Maurice has managed to keep control of the colony. It was not without a cost, however, as he has, has had to greatly rely on Jewish settlers to keep order. Unite the Schutztruppen. With Hadrian gone, the Schutztruppen has begun to fall apart. Different splinter factions are emerging, each just loyal to Governor Maurice. If we are to make it out of this crisis intact, we must unite the Schutztruppen. Oh, 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 oh. Middle Africa. Someday I will play as you, but not today, not that day. What a mess. What a giant mess. And Goringa. Oh. Hellman. What are you doing? Also, World War II started. Second Bell Creek, whatever. Russian boots march west of Germany. Russia is seemingly recovering. Oh, boy. Are we still in the Reich's Pact? Uh, no. Would you like a, a white piece, my friends? No. Hopefully we don't die to them. That'd be really, really bad. Legislate freedoms, weekly stability, public rally public support. Sure, why not? We can do both, why not? Goodbye, Brazil, goodbye. Unfortunately, oh, we can go straight to war economy. Yes, please, I'll be very... I already went to uh, free trade just because it could, we could, but a governor from Madagascar. I, Emil Maurice, first arrived on this wonderful island years ago, now hoping to live all my days in peace and quiet. A watchmaker by trade like my father before me, I'd wish to, to tinker and relax as a tropical sun baked my skin into leather and to die peacefully as an old man, free from all worldly tethers. Fate had different plans for me, it seems, as I was unwilling to thrust... Willingly thrust into a more lively way of living. Since my arrival to the strange land, I've had drinks and par parlayed with... Malagasy chieftains. I have broken bread with my fellow Jews who had fled from far and wide. I have even dined with the beast as we discuss old symphonies and finer things from back home in Germany. I have lived long enough experiences for ten coming lifetimes, but yet I still feel empty. I look back at all this pomp and pageantry, and all I can think about is the time wasted, the lounging and living I had missed. With Hadrish gone, it is now upon my shoulders to steer the ship. A duty I wish would never be granted to me. Fate is a funny and fickle thing, and it seems fate is not just done with me yet. All I can do now is laugh and wait for what fate has in store. What a world, my friends. What a world. Oh, Emil. 
keep leading Madagascar because no one else will. Approach all parties. Many different factions in Madagascar are ready to stake their claims. They are too powerful to dislodge, so instead we need to approach them in peace and hopefully good faith. Sure, my friends, you would all like this? Why not? Why not? Uh, oh, Mau Mau. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, boy, I don't want to do with Mau Mau. Uh, let's see, Nigerian Free State. Kenya, I don't care. You can have this. Cool, and we're also using Federal Peace Conferences. Say it, change tool mod, and character redux if I didn't say that earlier. It is what it is, whatever. Uh, and we're still trying to build this up. You know, screw up. I still want that naval base stuff here. So it took us four years, or three years, I guess. But we finally have another civilian factory. I love it. Support equipment? Sure, why not? Two hundred artillery? Sure, why not? No resources still, but hey, whatever. Massive disunity? Wow. Yeah, that doesn't look very good for us now, does it? Oh boy, that is not very good. Beringia, Kenya. Lubumbashi. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Approach all the parties, my friends. And then, oh, Hadrish, where art thou? In these turbulent times, we look back to when Hadrish governed Madagascar. While he may have fled to the mainland, we can still take lessons from his governing strategies. Oh, how's a land? How's a how's a how's a how's a land? Why do you have to do this stuff? There you go. And then we will kidnap foreign ships. With little resources of income left, the desperate citizens of Madagascar have begun kidnapping any ship that sails within our waters, holding their crew and good goods for ransom. While this may be against international laws in these desperate times, we can not only turn down a source of income, no matter how shady, ooh, or open port for all. Madagascar's location is in the middle of nowhere, and that may be a blessing in disguise. Using our removed location, we can offer our ports as a safe haven to anyone in the world to use uh, the resources and connections and connect us to the best lands on either side of the ocean, such as India or even Australia. Ooh. I like that. How about naval doctrine stuff? Uh, base strike. Let's go with probably trade interdiction. I almost never go that route, so we'll do it anyways, since we do have a lot of stuff here anyways. Good. Good. I really want to peace out with the French, but... Oh, goodness. We lost everything here. Oh, no, no, no. We lost the Dar es Salaam plants in Deutsche Ostafrika. Oh. But we do have the Chief of Army... Gabriel Ramamantsoa, as well as Gabriel Ramamantsoa, doing the chief of staff and chief of the army. He's a very busy guy. Incredibly busy, you know. God, this, this really sucks. Hey, Josh, why did you leave us? No. And let's see how the war is going. Oh, actually, the Germans are pushing into the Russians. And they're very close to taking Petrograd. Go figure. Well, the Germans are hopefully holding off the hole that is the communists or the syndicalists in the red countries. Sure, why not? Modern equipment? No, thank you. Man, Kaiser Redux, it does lag, but that's not Kaiser Redux's fault. I think it's more like just Kaiser Rex, but it is what it is. Uh, social conservative. Uh. Oh, Hadrish. Where art thou? Which I think I'll do, op maybe open port for all? Hmm, what should we do? What do, you, what do you think would be better? Oh, look at this. War propaganda? Oh. Wow. Look at that stability. Look at that war support. Look at that political power game. It means nothing to me, really, because we can't do too much with it, but whatever. Alright, we'll do that one. Why not? Research. Namibeland is gone. Goodbye. <sighs> Engineers. Very good. Uh, kidnap foreign ships. Well, I mean, there's La Croix de Fou, which is national populace, but that's French. De la Nuit. Paternal autocrats. Madagascar plan. I should have went with that one. But it seems like it would probably better be better. Happy 1940, anyways, guys. It's January. Maybe an open port for all, which gives us more consumer goods, slightly more construction speed, better production efficiency cap, a little, a little bit less factory output, but doesn't really matter to us, and trade deal opinion factor, minus 200%. It is what it is. State of Israel. We took out Israel. Uganda. Oh, no, 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 no. And encourage tourism. Well, Hadrish did focus on developing Madagascar's tourist economy. This was downplayed by his vast naval projects. With Hadrish gone and his projects scrapped, we can now focus on developing Madagascar's tourism industry, offering a new source of income for our cash-strapped nation. Oh boy, I want to see if there's any sort of event out of this. We should have an event, hopefully, after this one. <clears throat> and I'll spend some more political power because we can. We almost get one a day, roughly one a day. Uh, Canada? I don't think you know where Canada's supposed to be. Hmm. Kingdom of Canada. Oh, wow. The CSA has done a really good job. CSA, very strong. Even the federal government, uh, still holding out a little bit. Mexico. Oh, good lord. Brazil, what happened to you? Oh, good god. 
Buenos Aires, Lima. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm one of the games lagging so hard. The Eurasian bloc is blo here. Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania. Oh, the Polish Republic is fighting the Dona Idribund. Yeah, it would suck to be German right now. Hmm. Who is this? The Great Caucasian State. Is that like a lot of white people there? Huh. All right, and Eurasian bloc. Oh, look at that. S Southern Nationalist Group. It's always fun looking at what countries have popped up and around when you're not paying attention to the rest of the world. Wow, if these guys get cut off like right through here, that would be terrible. Please give us an event, please. Open port for all. Let's go and start doing that one. Oh, come on, there's no event. Uh, that's all right. This episode is pretty much wrapping up and wrapping down, so as you can tell. Um, I do want to follow Heydrich's path earlier to see what he could do in Middle Africa. Which would be kind of interesting to read and watch about. Uh, do we have any destroyer stuff? Uh, we'll do that one. Raider patrols, why not? Yeah, it's not... Oh, actually, let's take a look at the casualty, shall we? So, half a million versus 600,000. 36,000, huh? Oh, Goringia. Oh, no faction. Deutsche Medic... Oh, yeah, we're... Okay, so we're, we're not in a faction. We're by ourselves. Uh, that's not too bad, then. I kind of like it like that, then. So, just leave us alone. And I actually... We asked, actually had another division come out. And it was a garrison division, apparently. The Marines are eight combo with, but... Oh, the driver's driver. The circle of life continues, or so they say, with Hadrich on the run. Fleeing his fight to Madagascar, Emile Maurice has become the top German official on the island. Once a driver to the beast, it's now Maurice's turn to rule and be dotted on. Increasingly, Maurice is stuck up an odd friendship with a local Jew who himself fled persecution in Europe. Meeting by chance during one of Maurice's evening beach strolls, beach strolls, the two bonded over the love of the less stressful aspects of life, sensing that this young man had no future other than the German boot. Maurice has taken him in as his personal chef. Echoing relationships of lives now past, Maurice can't help but to chuckle at how destiny always seems to, be, to repeat itself, no matter how hard we run from it. Perhaps the cycle could continue. Maybe after this guy, then the, the chauffeur will become the leader or the, the leader of Deutsche Madagascar, and then maybe he'll find himself a beautiful, a beautiful, well, another dude to be his chauffeur. Kenya, led by Nigel Leakey. His face looking be kind, do be looking kind of weird though. But led by the libs, led by libs. Uh, sure, why not? Sweden and Norway. Ooh. Um, legendary. Don Kuban Union. You're very pink. Who? Oh, wow. Carol, a second. You got some. You got a pickle halva, don't you? Vasil Ivanis. Oh, look at that. He's got wine. A Cossack arm. Don Kuban Union focus tree. Oh. Open ports for all. The fall of Kiev. All right, my friends. And let's conclude, hopefully, with with potentially the last focus here. The open ports encourage tourism. We have done it after a long and expensive campaign and numerous bloody raids into their territories. The pirate threat to Madagascar has been put under control. Though small incidents still occur, the bulk of the large pirate gangs have been slaughtered for a force of fleet of friendly waters freeing up their stranglehold on our young economy. Full naval shipping will resume with our neighbors and trade partners to start the flow of wealth into Madagascar again and our new dock workers. And coastal inhabitants can finally live fearless without the impending threat of piracy, though this was only one hurdle of many on our journey to build up Madagascar. Many feel confident in our government's ability to handle crises due to the recent successes. Let us hope that this was the start of our good fortunes and not just a lucky break. Let the goods flow on our um, Jewish super state. Well, it's not a super state, but God, this is the closest thing I've got to a super state here. <sighs> Open ports for all. Trade deal opinion factor minus 200%. Ooh. Oh, boy. And I want to see if there's anything here regarding tourism. Oh, that'd be kind of fun. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Well, that's pretty good for these guys. Well, for the Germans, at least. Do you have to wrangle? Are you leaving some? Are you leaving to go somewhere? Black Baron. The si Ooh, the Siberian War. Kaza Wilhelm II, please. Hold on. And actually, I have not checked out the focus tree here yet. Is it unique compared to Kaiserreichs, or is it just kind of the same? Um, It looks a little bit different. This looks exactly like how the the setup is, looks like it's exactly the same, but it's not. Because there's voting rights here. That usually is in Kaiserreich, so as far as I remember, I haven't played Kaiserreich in a very long time, actually. As far as I remember, Deutschland über alles. Ooh. Imperial restructuring, which makes sense, it's pretty normal. Uh, aftermath of Black Monday, Black Monday makes sense, this makes sense as well. Deep in Polish ties, eh, we'll see. Military expansion, cool. Just wanted to keep an eye out on what's been changed, what's different. Ooh, Raider Patrols, very nice, very nice. Uh, sure, why not? Engineer companies? We don't believe in hospitals for the natives. Well, I guess now we do, maybe. But, hey. 
As long as nobody comes trying to invading our island, we'll be we'll be content. And encourage tourism. Hopefully, we get into a little event here. Daily political power goes up. More air range, less consumer goods. Max naval range goes up by 0.0. .0 Zero, which is very weird, but then we also get plus four percent infrastructure construction speed. And wow, look at that, the how fast it's going, but the tourist economy. With the last remnants of the beast and his hunnic dog's taint being expunged from a pr new proud nation, Madagascar looks ahead to a shining future. Our island is beautiful once more with the damages wrought by the hun being undone as we speak. Forests are regrown and animals reintroduced to their historic ranges, while our waters are depolluted to the best of our ability and the industrial hellscape. That, uh... <clears throat> Once spread across these lands is reclaimed by the jungle. With beauty and majesty returning to our lands, a unique business opportunity opens tourism. With such unique and biodiverse lands such as this, tourists from across the globe would love to see what our island is truly has to offer. To add in this venture, the government has created a new board of tourism to spearhead this burgeoning industry. With a bustling tourist industry, Madagascar could finally make money by expanding its natural curiosities instead of by actively destroying it as passed under... Un oh, before underpass administrations. The soul of the island shall no longer be harmed for material gain, and we shall show our old masters the true potential of our island and its beauty. Don't forget to buy some souvenirs. Support your local economy. Buy local goods. But I believe that is all that we have for Deutsch Madagascar. But this may not be the end of Hadrich's, Hadrich's, Reinhard, Papa, Vati, Hadrich's rule. But if you enjoyed this video, do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in maybe a different video. Thanks for watching, have a great, great Jewish rest of your day.